Hi there, well this uh, video uh, the word just came to me before I started to make this video that um, I was reminded of a couple of uh, songs that I did a few years ago um, one of the songs is a rap song called uh, Gangster in the Church so um, I, I believe that I should redo that song because obviously the quality wasn't all that great and you know I do have an amp and a mic so at least it um, enhances the quality a little bit I do have software, music software, but uh, um, I guess if there's anyone out there that can either help me use the, the music software to make better quality songs or uh, teach me how to use it. I know there's a few classes in college, but uh, probably um, I might consider that, but um, just takes up a lot of time, um, especially when you're actually trying to preach the gospel as well. and. Um, you know, you have a flyer ministry, you have a music ministry. All glory to the Lord, you know, through His grace. Um, but what what the Lord really put on my heart uh, this morning it was um, the fact that if anybody's watching this these videos um, on the End Times account, and um, they're not really Christians, they can't really say that they're Christians or not, then um, the Lord really wants you to um, know Him uh, as, as your Lord and Saviour. You know that Yeshua is his true name. Jesus Christ um, came down from heaven, bled on the cross, died for your sin. And um, the only way to salvation is if you accept him as your Lord and Savior and repent in him. That he died for you and you shall be saved and you can go forward for what I But what I would say to you that um, I'm a Christian, I'm spirit filled, even though, um, of course, you know, I'm still a sinner. But, but that's to say that um, basically, you know, no one can preach the gospel. If it was only um, for people that haven't sinned before, you know, all of us are sinners, and um, sometimes we just have to remind ourselves of the gospel that we can repent, stop sinning. Um, sometimes uh, I, I have been getting um, the odd interest, female interest, and um, I, I really got to um, like while I want these people to be walking better with the Lord and everything, um, I, I just got to really wait on the Lord until. Um, the Lord really um, gives me a, a marriage that's worth having, you know. Um, marriages are work and they do take a lot of time, but uh, basically the woman has got to realise that, you know, she's really part of the husband's ministry. So it's just like Jesus Christ, you know, we are the bride of Christ. We are really part of his ministry on the earth. It's not our ministry, okay. And uh, that means that all the spiritual gifts that the apostles had, everything that they did, we can expound upon in uh, mercy and judgment and faith, as is written in Matthew 23:23. And uh, mighty rushing waters. I did a little song about that. I quoted that verse. And um, so uh, again, um, um, thank you for your prayers. Um, now, if, again, if there's anybody in Scotland or, or the UK that seriously wants to, to to not just meet me, but actually seriously wants to do regular Bible studies. They seriously wants to be filled with the Holy Spirit. They seriously wants to pray for the nation of Scotland. Then um, please get in contact with me. Maybe it'll take maybe an hour of your time every week to actually seriously um, just read the scripture, but really pray and get filled with the Holy Spirit. And it's not as if I'm going to come and show you how to do that. It's just that the fact that you, you just have to humble yourself before the Lord and just let Him fill you and ask Him into your heart. And then give him all your praise and worship and thanks, and realize that you know gifts such as music are being misused today. Of course, the Illuminati are involved in all these things. It's just to take the people's hearts and minds away from God. But the gift of music um, is, is for us, the believers, of human beings, are created in God's image to actually worship our Lord and Savior. And uh, so again, um, the Lord has been calling. Um, Many hardened criminals, even I've seen in Africa and um, even in Scotland as well, into the body of Christ. But I don't believe that they're getting that correct nurturing. They're getting that correct intimacy with the Lord because um, we just go to this church once a week, um, and the 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 really the, the leaderships are very very poor today, very very money orientated, very very um, scared about people actually uh, taking authority themselves in the Lord Jesus Christ. And actually praying against the principalities and powers in this age that are actually taking over this world. And um, 
the, whether you believe it or not, that's what Adolf Hitler was a, belie a believer in the occult and in the fallen angels and Satan. And, you know, you can study um, capitalism and communism and socialism as much as you want. There's political as aspects to this. But the main heart um, of the matter is that these people are s satanic, um, luciferic uh, worshippers. They obviously keep that hidden because out in their public view, you know, they'll be seen as maybe part of the Catholic Church or part of the Mormon Church or part of a so-called resemblance of Christianity, but it's not real Christianity. And uh, people have got to really realise this very, very quickly because um, basically you can either call on God to help you or basically the alternative is, is, is not that not as good as you think. Let, let, let's just say that. I mean, God can certainly use people and armies and nations but um, what the Lord really wants is that, you know, for our nations to repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and therefore... Um, God will, um, basically people have rejected God, so in other words it's, it's kind of like um, you've rejected somebody that really loves you and has protected you you know, w wants to um, encourage you, nurture you, keep you safe, you've rejected that, that God and then you've opened yourself up into all the a spectrum of different um, demonic entities that just really want to wreck your life and kill you to be really, really honest with you that's what Satan's goal is, he, he hates mankind he, he approaches the throne of God it says this in Job and he will tell about certain Christians that are sinning, he will tell about certain nations and um, whether these people get back on their knees and repent to Jesus Christ is very very important because the, the, the word of God says that Satan is like a prowling lion and his first objective is to take people away from the very grace and presence of God by getting these very believers to stop believing in their God in other words, to become pacifist or atheist, it's almost the same thing. And um, basically, um, just stop the, the good work that the Lord is doing through the through the, the, the Christians, let's, let's just say, the true Christians. And um, again, shining the light against false Christianity, and basically um, showing people even through the Torah, which um, is the best way to actually discern the Messiah, through the Torah, by the way. It's, it's not just like through Christmas and oh I'm a because I, I, I could see Jesus in Christmas how is that in, in the Easter Bunny you saw Jesus in the Easter Bunny and that made you become a Christian I'd seriously question if you're a Christian then if you continue in this um, frame of mind and thought that actually opens the doors to demons in your life and you get you get a state of confusion you get into a state of basically um, almost cursing God's people in a way and you're not aware of it because it's a certain spirit that's making you do that what you really need to be is centered in the Lord Jesus Christ what you really need to have is spiritual Zionism instead of political Zionism okay because political Zionism can be hijacked and all kind of things done to it certainly the Lord's will to bring about the Jewish nation but again um, the Lord can just as well destroy it if he chooses to so that's why we've got to even encourage our Jewish um, brothers and sisters, you know, to repent and turn to Yeshua, our Messiah. And um, certainly, you know, the, the rabbi um, who, who died back in 2006 that predicted that Jesus Christ or Yeshua would return after the death of Ariel Sharon. Well, it's very possible. And I know that these people were um, Kabbalists and so on. Uh, or at least they, they, they were that even before Jesus appeared to them so maybe they, you know, we, we don't know their, their full story about it but the point is that the Bible predicts that the Jewish people will turn to Yeshua, Jesus Christ so that's what we really got to know and we really got to know that the Torah is not done away and it's not done away for the Christian or the Jew or anybody it's the, in fact the Torah or the commandments actually bring us to a conviction that we're sinners before a holy God and that we need to the blood atonement as in is mentioned right throughout scripture and it's Jesus Christ that provided that blood on the cross for us to be um, redeemed vindicated before a holy God so that he can again fight against our enemies and um, give us give us the victory and our souls are saved and sealed um, for the day of redemption for the day of the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ which is coming extremely soon after the son of lawlessness or the man of lawlessness is revealed to the world in the false prophet thank you for listening again I appeal to you if you're in Scotland you want to know Jesus Christ get in contact with me 
Thank you for listening.